are inverse to each other. If you want to prove they are inverse to each other, you have to find FGX and also you have to find GFX. If it produces X, that means F is inverse to G, G is inverse to F. So let's say we have this function fx equal to x squared and gx is negative square root of x. So if we sub the g, sub the g into f, so we will get uh, the f is this, this is a function, right? So we sub this one into there, so we will get the uh, answer is a negative square with positive x. It looks like this one, okay, f, uh, g. Then how about this one, gf? If we find gf, that means we're going to use the function g, right? This function. And then we'll sub this one inside, right? Okay, we'll sub f as an object. So that means we will sub the x squared inside the x. So after simplify, the negative still there, still negative. So it looks like we are not getting the positive x. So then we can say gfx is not equal to x. So hence we can say that gx is not is not the inverse function of the fx. Why? Because this gfx is not producing the x. Right? That is how you prove for inverse function. That's all. Bye-bye.